Hi everyone, I'm Fran and welcome to Delicious Sparkly Cakes where you can learn how to make amazing cakes for your friends and for your family. This week I thought to show you how to make a Halloween cake but I'm going to show you two different versions. One is a cute one and the other one is that it's more scary. You choose which version you prefer and now let's see how we can make it. First of all, we're going to put a dab of buttercream on our cake board. Then we're going to put our first layer of cake and then we're going to fill it with some delicious buttercream. The one that I've used here is uh, the orange buttercream because I thought it could be more of a Halloween uh, color. So then we're going to add another layer of um, cake then again some buttercream and then our third layer of cake buttercream again and finally our fourth layer then we're going to cover the whole cake with purple buttercream again i thought this was uh, the right color for halloween and then we're going to make our buttercream nice all around with a smoother and then we're going to do this a couple of times and then it's going to be enough we don't need to make it really perfect right now as we're going to add more afterwards now to make a straight line for a faulty line cake which is the first one that i'm going to make for you i've uh, added two open paper shapes one at the bottom one at the top and um, they're a little bit damp because they could stick onto the cake however to make sure that the one on top won't come off i've uh, put a small pin and i've uh, put some black buttercream in the middle of the cake and then again smooth it with the smoother Once I've done that, I've removed the both strip of oven paper and put it again a little bit in the fridge to, to make sure that the black buttercream was a bit harder. So again, I put another strip of uh, oven paper in the middle where the black buttercream is just to make sure that uh, the, the purple line won't have two ups and down. I really wanted a straight line as much as possible. So then I cover the uh, bottom and the top of the cake with uh, purple buttercream again. Then I smoothed the buttercream away again. As you can see in the middle it gets a lot covered with, with buttercream but it's not a problem because we're going to remove it afterwards. So now let's put it in the fridge again. Meanwhile we're going to make our decorations. First decorations then I'm going to show you how to make are the cute eyes and the cute ghosts as well and uh, to do so I've decided to use some uh, yellow fondant and uh, I've shaped two kind of drops. And then in the middle I've added some ovals, one oval for each eye of black fondant and then I press them down. And then I've added a um, small dot of white fondant as well. To make the ghosts I've rolled some white fondant and then I've shaped four different kind of drops.
Now we can remove the extra fondant and we can start making the eyes with some small dots of uh, black fondant. And uh, to make the mouth I'm using half of uh, a circle and then I put it in the middle of uh, the face. Then I've decided to make four different cuts, so they're all similar but they're all a little bit different and um, some have um, smaller mouth and the other one has a ooh, mouth <laughs> and then uh, a close the eyes are different too some are more circles and others are more ovals too and then i've added uh, two circles to make the cheeks with some pink fondant which i think they make them look cuter And finally to one of them I added some uh, red fondant, it was an oval, then I cut it a little bit to make it the thong, so it is cuter, right? Now let's make the other um, kind of uh, decorations which have more of an evil vibe and um, the eyes have decided to make them oranges which I think they're more evils as a color and um, I've cut it one circle and then I've cut it uh, from this circle I cut it two small pieces of it and then I've added some black fondant and um, also I've added some red edible dust all around it to give a little bit more of a realistic vibe as well To make the other ghosts, I've used uh, uh, the cute ghosts as a template, so they all have the same uh, shape, but they're going to have different eyes and different mouth, of course, and they're not going to have pink cheeks either. Here I'm showing you how to make um, two evil eyes again for but this time for the ghosts and then I've added a very tiny triangle for the nose to make the mouth I've uh, made semicircle and then I cut it a small square from the top and another one from the bottom The third ghost is going to have uh, two triangles for eyes and uh, I'm cutting some uh, circle from it which again it gives more of a navel look and this one is going to have a long mouth but I'm going to add lots of small strips of fondant as well And last but not least is going to have an um, up and down uh, mouth. I really don't know where else to call it. Again, to make the eyes, I've uh, made two triangles, but then I'm going to um, take off two triangles from the bottom as well. And finally, again, the nose is going to be a small triangle again. Once we've done the decoration, it's time to take a our cake from the fridge and take off uh, the strip in the middle of the cake 
as you can see in the middle uh, there is still some a uh, little bit of uh, purple buttercream which, which we're going to take off with a damp brush then we can add our decorations first I've started with the cute ones Then I turn the cake and as you can see on the right the buttercream is not perfect but I actually thought that it could be uh, much nicer for the evil decorations. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment which one is your favorite cake the cute one or the scary one write it down in the comment and if you enjoy don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i make one video every week about cake decorating and cake topper and i would love to have you join me for the next one and don't forget be creative and have fun bye bye